Good day and welcome to our short demonstration and explanation of how to use the Google Disavow tool. We're going to explain what the Disavow tool is, why you'd want to use it, what penalties Google has, what a PBN is, a negative SEO attack, what that is, and just generally how to invalidate links. We, we really want to follow SEO best practices. So this is our primary website, uartech.ca. You can see it's got lots of great stuff. Just a little plug for our own site, but there really is a lot of really good how-tos and cookbooks in here. Okay, so what is the Disavow tool? The Disavow tool is simply a little web page to go to to upload a file to Google, a little plain text file that tells Google, I don't know who put those links there, but they're not for me and I don't want them. And you might ask yourself, why in the heck would you ever want to get rid of links going to your site? Because of course, the lifeblood of the internet at least as far as credibility goes, is links. So you really don't want to get rid of links if you don't have to. But you need to be concerned with the quality of those links. So if you've got a website that's say a funeral home, let's go with that, and there are links coming to your site from credit card companies or things like that, well, there might be a weird tie-in, but it might actually work. If you've got 10,000 links coming from random blogspot pages that have nothing to do with your site, one has to do with the energy industry, or just giant link farms, well, Google is really not happy with that. They think you're trying to game the system. And that gets us to PBNs or private blog networks. Those are basically giant link exchanges or semi-temporary websites that people that claim to be SEO experts, like a lot of people on Fiverr and similar services, use to build links for you. So you can go to Fiverr or sites like that and you can find people that will give you a thousand links back to your site for, you know, five or 10 bucks. Look, this person will give you a thousand links for 13 bucks. Look at all of these people that'll do it for eh, six, seven bucks. Ultra high quality, he says. Yes, for $6.74, you're certainly going to get a million backlinks. No, you're not. You're going to get garbage. And that's going to annoy Google and they're going to de-rank you. Your page rank, which is what the that's the number that they assign to your site to say what the quality is. It's this DA ranking that you're looking at here. And if you use one of these services, you're gonna be in hell. Now something I just noticed on Fiverr that I'd never seen before, check this out, is down here there's a bad links removal. That's, that's now such a thing. That's amazing. And we have a friend at a company called Intelligiants, which is in intelligiants-team.com. And by the way, no, they haven't paid for this. There's nothing funny going on. This is an honest review. We're not pumping them up. I'm just telling you where it came from. That person gave us a very nice link audit and suggested that we remove about 800 low quality links. Now, just before we hop off of Fiverr, something else to note is something that a lot of people don't talk about, but it's out there and not just with big companies. There's something called a negative SEO attack. So if one of your competitors could pay one of these guys at Fiverr, and I'm not picking on Fiverr, by the way, Fiverr's fine, but you could hire one of these guys, look at this, 5,000 backlinks for seven bucks. Okay, something like that, right? Fine. Oh, there, this guy's actually doing a thousand for that. No, no, it's the standard, yeah, the standard, the premium, uh, it costs you a little bit more, but they're just building it off of garbage PBNs and just running scripts. They're not doing what you expect them to do, which is go to a website, write something useful about your website and put a link to it. That's not what they're doing. This is all automated garbage. So what if you did this for one of your competitors? Yeah, you could do that. That would get one of your competitors into trouble with Google and that's gonna give them a lower page rank. In fact, you'd be better off to spend probably the uh, 60 bucks, 70 bucks here and get 10,000 backlinks, really burn them. Okay, enough of that, let's look at our list. So this is the link that Intelligiant sent us. Just a little note, I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner here. I wanted to sort all the Blogspot stuff because the Blogspot stuff is just a favorite for these PBNs and it's virtually all garbage. So I, I knew those were pretty correct. Uh, so I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner that shows you how I found whether the column here contains Blogspot or not. So you can see I've got contains BS. There's the formula if you want it, but I'll put the, uh, the, again, the link in the top right-hand corner so you can see how I did it. So I can sort these. And you'll notice down here, these are ones that are not uh, our friends at Blogspot. Now, well, I've already gone through a lot of these and I have cleaned out the ones that I think are actually valid. 
I do, in other words, I do not wish to invalidate good links. That would be very bad. In fact, it's the number one problem with using the disavow tool. It's very easy for you to shoot yourself in the foot by disavowing good links. But I'm pretty sure things like Joseph Leopard, K96 Squares, this is all garbage, right? These are obviously just temporary sites. Look at this. IRA, blah, blah. It's just junk. Now, you might ask, well, how did you know which ones are junk? Well, really, the only way to do it is to surf to each of these sites and take a look. But watch, uh, I'm going to undo a couple of the changes I made here. There, so I've pulled two or three back. This is one that I believe is actually good. Logindriver.co.uk, remote desktop, RDP, blank after, okay, it's a tech thing. You don't have to care. That I believe to be real. So I'm taking it out of the list that I'm going to disavow. This quickcontact.org, I really don't know. I think it's crap, but I'm not positive. So let's go surf off to it and just take a quick look. Okay, this does look a bit PBN-ish, a big sort of professional enough to pass Google initially, but not to fool them in the long term. Uh, maybe not. Webmail, login, so and so. Uh, maybe this is real. Okay, so I'm going to... Yeah, this all looks tech related, which is what I do. So I am going to remove, I am going to remove that one and I'll keep that link. That's a good one. And I actually know this ring of your power is actually good. So there's three that I know are good. Another way to find garbage is to check your common other sources. Things like your comment section. Let's go look at mine because I know I've got a bunch in here that are pending, which are just garbage. And I don't want those links coming back to me. Uh, here we go. This is one, gobank.com. So look, I'm just going to click on that. So I get taken out to it. And yeah, this guy is trying to get me to install something. This is just, this is not good. Google ain't going to like this. Either. There's a few things in here that make it look like it's real. But take a look at this, because I checked this one earlier, by the way. When I click on uh, the homepage, it takes me to the Arizona Dimebacks credit card. This is a classic skin on a scam site. Look at this, there's no links on this page at all to go into anything. And they didn't even bother to edit the bottom here. This is just garbage. So I'm going to add not only the link from this company as garbage, I'm gonna add the domain. So let's show you how to do that. Just wanna grab the domain. So I'm just going up and control C to copy it. And then go into your file and the Excel file eventually needs to be plain text. Right now mine isn't, but it will be. So I'll just insert a row here and I'm gonna paste that in, but I want the entire domain to be blocked. So you type in domain colon, there we go. Now I also need to get rid of anything extra in here. You can have a comment section in case you wanna come back to it in the future, but I don't. So I'm going to save this as a plain text file, TXT. And I'm gonna call these, just for my reference, bad links and IntelliGiants gave me this, so I'm going to note it so I know where it came from. Boom, and it's gonna say, hey, we're gonna strip stuff out. Yep, that's fine. Now in my case, I had a character at the top. I know it's not gonna like an entry. It's not gonna like, so I'm gonna to have to double click on my text file, which I'll do right there and I need to get rid of this line at the top. And I see I actually made a mistake here. Not supposed to have any spaces there. There we go, just like that. And it should be domain colon, whatever it is. If I did want to put a comment in here, say I wanted to flag this one, I could put, it, it, you can start with a uh, pound or hash sign or the number sign, and you can type whatever you want. So this is log, yeah, there we go, garb. And the Google system will just ignore this line because as soon as it sees that pound, it just ignores it. As far as limits go, there's really only two that you need to know about. One, there can only be 100,000 lines that you're disavowing, so 100,000 entries you're making here. So uh, if you got more than that, well, maybe you got a problem. And the URL length, the, the length of this address has to be less than 2,000 characters, uh, 2,048 to be specific. So let's remove these bad links from Google right now and we'll get SEO best practices here by doing this. The theory is that this will actually increase our ranking. It's very important that the links you're looking at here actually be garbage. If they're not, if this is a valid link, let's say this was a, a reasonable one, 
Well, that's one less link that you have and uh, you're shooting yourself in the foot. It's the number one reason not to do this. If you don't know what you're doing, you might want to ask somebody about this, including us. Just put a comment below, we'll get back to you. Or certainly somebody else will. But these are all ones that we think and IntelliGiants thinks are garbage and are actually hurting us. So just before I save this, I just want to take one more quick scan of it and make sure that there's nothing in here that jumps out at me as being real. These random domains are also a pretty good clue that there's a problem. All right, so I'm going to close and save this. So how do you actually do this? How do you notify Google? Where's the tool man? Well, look, it's in the Google search console for you web admins that know what that is, but don't worry about it. The easiest way to find it is just to go search for it. So just search for dis, oh, there you go, disavow tool. Apparently I've already done that search. And bingo, in my case, top link. Kate wants me to sign in, so you're not going to see this. I'm going to hide it. There we go. Now this says, look, this is an advanced feature, should be used with caution. If used badly, in other words, if you're killing your own links, that's not good. If you're getting rid of junk, this will help your site. So I'm signed in and it's uh, asking me which site I'm trying to dis uh, disavow things from. It'll be the HTTPS, you are tech.ca. I currently have a little test that I uploaded. So I'm going to replace that list with a, well, with the full list, which is that one there. Ah, see what I did wrong there? I left the slash at the end, shouldn't have done that. So let me click okay and we'll go fix it. Right, the domain is just the domain, that's it. You might ask, if there's so many Blogspot ones that are bad, why are you not just blocking the entire Blogspot domain? Well, because Blogspot has got a lot of stuff and it might be good. There we go. 764 links are disavowed and one entire domain. So in summary, we've explained why you'd want to disavow links, how you would find out what links there are to be disavowed, which is largely to get a link on it, and when doing that, you might find that somebody has launched a negative SEO attack against you and you want to disavow those. So we've explained why to disavow the links and how to disavow links using the Google Search Console. It's really important that you learn how to remove bad links from Google if you want to be a top player in SEO, search engine optimization. But as we've said, you've got to be very careful and not kill real links. Hey, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment or a question. We'll get back to you or somebody else will. Those things really help with the Google algorithm. Also, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca where we cover a lot of uh, content on Windows 10, Windows Server, uh, certainly Microsoft 365 and Azure. And basically it's a whole lot of cookbooks and videos explaining things like we just showed you. And if it has, so if it has to do with Android or it has to do with Microsoft, we probably have it covered. So you can just go to the top and do a search for whatever you're looking for. We quite literally have thousands of pages that we have built ourselves, which explain, I mean, an amazing array of things to do with Windows, Azure, Microsoft 365, Office 365, Android, Samsung, you know, you name it. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.